everybody? This your man, Fred Hammond. Listen, this is a special pop-up, right? It's not necessarily a, a podcast or anything. It's just information. I'm here to give you some information, you know, and I, I, I'm not going to always wait till I'm in the podcast mood or behind the mic. You know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And so with this in mind, here's what's going on. I'm here at the warehouse with a room full of staff members and we're writing a special project to film and whatnot. And uh, this special conversation came up with Marcus uh, and Keith and I, Keith State and Marcus Cole and I about, you know, what is the difference between us and our generation coming up? Why was it so difficult for us to learn music? And why is it so easy for this generation to to learn music? So I just want to let you in on this conversation quick. We just turned the the, the cameras on. We didn't even have no cameras. We just turned the phones on and, and whatnot. So listen, once again, do me a favor. Hit the like and subscribe button, all right? You know, to let you know when I'm up doing something. Some days it's going to be real neat, and some days it ain't going to be neat. Some days it's just going to be me, just like this, okay? Um, And, uh, you know, send it, share it, like it, you know, and I'm going to keep giving you some amazing content. Also, I found a bunch of hard drives and CDs and dad tapes in my closet. And I'm going to share one of those with you today, all right? So let's get in on this conversation, all right? And I'll see you in a minute. But before we get into that, let me let you know that during the holidays, we got you covered. That's right. The Worship Live Tour is coming to a city near you with yours truly, Uncle Fred, my man Donnie McClurkin, Hezekiah Walker, Dee Dee Hattie, Bashan Mitchell, Todd Delaney, Anthony Brown. Oh, you don't want to miss this. And my dog, James Fortune. I, we got you for the holidays. So come on out. Worship Live Holiday Tour is coming your way. Now let's get into it. Hey family, listen, listen, I am in here today with the family. All right, yeah, we got everybody, you know, up in here. Yep, you see us. And we're doing it kind of crude today because I didn't want to miss this. We're having a great conversation. I'm upgrading this computer right here. And uh, this is, you know, this is the Fred Hammond, my journey. Yeah, and it don't, it don't look like everybody else. You know, I don't have a microphone right here. I don't do that. We're doing something different on this one. Do uh, But here's the deal. We're talking about why do kids, uh, uh, why do kids, seem like they got it, you know, they get it so quick today. And then I want to play for you a lost reel. That's right, I found a bunch of hard drives with nothing but music and videos on it. I'm gonna play one song for you, then I'm gonna have you come back. We were talking about, um, it seemed like how do kids, you know, get it so quick. They're musicians, you see them on the kid, they're, they're eight, nine, 10, and they're playing bass and keys and all this kind of crazy stuff. My point was simple. When we were growing up, we had competition with the street. Number one, it was older. So when you had people like James Jameson and, and, and Gladys Knight and the Pippin, they were late in their 20s. And, and those were for older people who needed jobs, you know, and um, they were in the music business where we were in school, we were, there was competition with skateboarding, riding your Schwinn up and down the street, oh, yeah. going in the water fountain, but playing inside the, uh, uh, Outside, you know, right. we, we had an outside life, outside, you know, right. and uh, that that is what kids don't have today. They don't go outside. They mm-hmm. come in the world on the phone. Yeah, on the phone. Yeah, and they and they find these things out and and they learn how to do it. Whereas we, we man, we, I was busy being on little league football. Yeah. You know, I was a baseball. I was going out with your friends, staying out late. Uh-huh. Constantly, man. Tag in the street, street football, everything, man. We was just couldn't wait to get outside. So it, you you would find a a nerd back then who would stay in the house and just practice and and just practice his vocals. And, and you called him Michael Jackson later, but you know, you know, um, or, or somebody. But most of us, we had the street. Yeah. That was the competition, so we didn't learn music. To learn the piano, to sit at the piano was a torture. Like honestly, it's like man, I could be your friend. You hear your friends out there, and you gotta sit down, 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 and man, you feel like oh man, it's torture. You didn't know, man. I'm need. I'm gonna need this for later. Yeah, you know, but that was the vibe. No, I did. Yeah, no, I did right then that you needed that. Now kids are introduced to technology much earlier on because everything's on the phone. Yeah. Yep. You can p- track on the phone. Yep. I got a nephew, uh, um, um, Jameson, who just at a young age just learned Fruity Loops. I mean, you name it, just so much stuff and producing dope music 
at an early age, and it's easy to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know what I'm saying? And then the singing. But think about this, too, though, Fred, is that the stuff that y'all laid down caught the ear of a younger generation, and they perfected that. Yep, yep. And so each generation kind of set up the next generation to become, like, think of how these kids sing now. Yeah. It's like in our day, like the most dopest run you could probably do is, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know and then in our day, it was, and I mm. do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. Ooh. You did that? Uh, you oh, you can sing. But in that, it's much more complicated because, but but because of what the previous generation really laid laid down. Right. Mm -hmm. Because like, yeah, I mean, right. we had the thing, but we had Charlie. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we had Stevie, Stevie. we had yeah, Donnie, Donnie, Charlie, yeah. and R Uncle Rance. Yeah, exactly. Right. So right. we took it to another level too. But yeah, but even even in that man, it's like you know, um, when we like we were just caught, Keith and I were just talking about the whole commission thing, man. We had to save up money, mm -hmm. you know, go do skating parties and receptions to save up two, three, fifty, two hundred fifty dollars yeah. per gig to yeah. get a thousand dollars worth of studio time. Mm -hmm. To go into a studio and do eight hours worth of music, right. eight hours worth of a session. Then we had to go and we had to rehearse it in the basement early. Oh, yeah. But these kids now they don't have to do that. It's right on the phone. Like yeah. the, like you said, Fruity Loops. You can go right on the phone and they can yeah. and, yeah. and they can teach them that. Sorry for my camera work. This is impromptu. Listen, I do have a treat for you. I found old hard drives in my closet that go back oh. 15, 20 years. Hard just videos and music. So what I want to do now is I'm gonna pay you. Some of y'all probably seen this, but I'm gonna play you uh, an episode, all right, of um, Warehouse Worship. I'm gonna play you a song from that and let it bless you. And this song is simple. It says, "Oh Lord, I'm calling you. Show yourself strong." Then I'm gonna come back and close, and we're gonna talk more about this. <laughs>
And we'll be back with more Warehouse. Mighty, mighty. Listen, this is the lab, and I, I, it's, it's really a museum now, right? Yeah. It's a museum now. Yep. It, it just doesn't even come on anymore, and we just kept it around. As you can see, you know, it's, it's it's this. But I got my bros up here, and we get ready to go to the lab and start working. Fred, Keith, and Marcus uh, look for some great stuff coming out really, really soon. And, uh, man, we're going to talk some more about this as we get, you know, they're here all week. And um, we're going to talk some more about this, man, about... What what's going on and how to help kids and young people or anybody that's trying to do music to think outside the box because even though we're here and we're old heads we got all this you know what I'm saying we're still thinking outside the box but we're doing it now because we love it and we have a passion for it and uh, uh, man thanks for joining in join me uh, later on this week and I'm gonna give you a whole nother warehouse worship lost real edition all right y'all ready to bounce ah easy. And when people ask you what you're doing for the holidays, tell them I'm going to see Uncle Fred and the Worship Live Tour with Hezekiah Walker, Donnie McClurk, and Dee Dee Hattie, Anthony Brown, James Fortune, and Todd Delaney, and Bashan Mitchell. Worship Live Holiday Tour, that's where I'm going.